Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to celebrate and remember the life of Ike Wilteen. It was not the life that everyone should live, nor was it the life that was lived out perfectly. However, it was one of continual submission for his family and his Lord. He was a man who was loved by all, stubborn as a horse, strong as iron. I can still remember the times we spent together, though I did not often get to see him. Whenever we would make this 1,600 mile trek up to Prince Edward Island, he would always make a point of spending time with my siblings and me. I remember one time he, uh, he took my brother and me around the island to see the year's harvest. He explained the different crops he was growing, potatoes, soybeans, flax, and many others. He had such an excitement and love for what he did. But my brother and I were tired and ended up falling asleep while he was talking. I wish I were not of. I wish I would have talked to him more, because to be honest with you, I did not know him much. But today at his funeral, I think I've learned more about him than I ever could have. The hundreds of people gathered here today tell the story of his life. Siblings and friends, children and grandchildren, neighbors, church members, government officials and drunkards. All of us with tears in our eyes and memories in our hearts. Though we all grieve his death, I do not think that any of us can deny that this is the way he would have wanted to go, with his boots on his feet and his tractor in the field. He was diligent and determined to the work that he was needed. He was dedicated to his devotion and to the day-to-day -day interactions with those around him. In a way, I guess you can say that he was living for this day. He was not living for himself, but for others. He was living to be an impact if you need any proof of that, count the number of soiled tissues in the trash bin or in your hands. Being here today, I feel a certain tug on my life. This is how we are to live. Our time on this earth is short, and the time with our loved ones can be even shorter. Our words and actions leave impressions on those that we see on a day-to-day -day basis. I think this is what Opa wanted us to remember. We are an impact, and our love and stories remain in those around us. Live for your funeral and leave your tractor in the field.